Yo, what up, son? What's up, y'all? So I got an email saying, Zosh, man, I don't know shit about cars, but, you know, how do I get in the car scene? How do I go to meets? You know, how do I learn more about cars and everything? You got any advice for your boy? You know I do, foe. You know your boy got you. What I'm about to tell you is how to get into, like, your local car scene, and then from there you can graduate into, like, the bigger car scene and everything. So first off, what you do is go on Facebook, type in wherever you're from, and put, like, car enthusiasts or car group after it, and then, you know, hopefully there's a group made. If not, then this is probably going to be harder than I thought. So once you do that, you know, just go on Facebook, see what you can find, and then join the local car group and ask them, like, hey, when the meets, or if they have, like, their banner or their whatever the hell they have on Facebook now where you got, like, the big uh, cover photo or whatever, it'll probably say, oh, meets hosted, you know, every Friday night, like, how my city's uh, meets are. And then that's what you could do. You know, that's a great way, in my opinion, for you to figure out what's going on in the meat world. That kind of sounds kind of gay in the meat world. <laughs> Frank Ocean, when you drop an album. If you can't find any Facebook groups or anything like that, if you're in high school, then this should be easier for you. Try to find any cars in the parking lot that look slightly modified or whatever. Or if you have any friends that drive modified cars, ask them where the meats are at or, you know, ask them how they got in the scene and they'll give you some advice or what to look out for. And also, if you do get in the car scene, don't talk shit about other people's work, alright? If you see a car that's fucking slammed on the ground, and you're like, oh, why'd you ruin your car? The car looks fucking stupid. Listen here, that guy probably put all his damn investment funds and Medicaid and Obamacare and that shit just to look nice and break necks. So don't be talking shit about other people's rides. That's very disrespectful. Got my point across. I ain't a petro. Say hi, Amanda. Now, how I got into my little car scene, I had first got my 95 Civic, and I had a friend who had a 94 Integra. And he was like, yo, Percy, you can come to the meet time that you got your car? And I was like, what meets? There's meets? He's like, yeah, man, every Friday night at Taco Bell, they have like the little local car meet. And I was like, I didn't know we had meets. He's like, yeah, man, come out. And when Friday rolled around, he hit me up, got on the phone, we talked, we met up, and then boom, I was at the car meet. And I was having a great time, and seeing other people's hard, you know, working build, even though it could have been a half-ass EG hatch or a half-ass EG cube, it was still dope to see people put their money into a car to make their own. And that's what's so unique about the car scene, because, like, people put all this money to make their car their own, and it's like, they get hate for it by, you know, people not agreeing. Like, race car, people look at stands cars and be like, why do you make your wheels too? Why are you loading a car that's stupid? It makes your car look stupid, blah, 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 blah. And that's what kind of sucks about the car scene because you're going to get hate no matter what. So I encourage you guys, please don't hate on other people's builds. Don't be that guy to talk shit about somebody's car. You know, ask questions. You feel me? Like, if you see a car you like and you have the same car, you're like, hi, how did you get your wheels to do this? Ask them questions. If people are like really being dicks about you, you know, asking them questions, then tell them the fuck off or whatever. But, you know, ask, it's good to ask questions when you're in the car scene so you can get, you know, a general knowledge because I know a lot now thanks to like my friend Randy and, you know, Travis and all the people who. You know, came into my life just from cars, and you know, they teach me stuff, you know, step by step, you know, how to do this and that, which is dope. So, you know, it's cool to have car friends because you know, they'll, they're always there for you, I feel like. Because no matter if your car breaks down, they'll be there to help you. You feel me? I feel like car people are more like friendly in my way and stuff. Like, I don't know, the car friends that I have are really dope. Like, they come to help me whenever I need problems. I, I even got a call this morning from my boy, was like, Yo, let's work on your car from like 10 o'clock in this morning. That's that's dope, man. Like, who would like who does that? That's dope, and that's how I got into my local car scene. Hopefully, the same way could happen to you you or even better if you have a car it's pretty easy to get in the car scene when you have a car because you can go to drive to the meets and everything but if you have a friend that has a car then you know you guys can both drive to the meets and learn more about cars and everything like that which is pretty dope but to end this video uh if you have any advice that you want answered in like a video or whatever if it's you know a legit advice role question that you know deserves advice or whatever then hit up my email got a sneeze askzosh at gmail.com or comment below and whoever gets top comment I'll make a video about it if a lot of people needs you know help on that topic or whatever it could be anything all right but if it's cars awesome if it's not still awesome still love you guys so I'm in the video thank you guys for watching I'm out peace subscribe to my channel be all right. got guns bigger than you Poison my hoe, I buy my drugs for the low, like a coupon at the store, my niggas like Kanye.